Um, I just want to show you pretty much a few products that I've bought. Well, I don't want to say a few, but um, some products that I've gotten since I went natural or um, stopped getting relaxers. So, they're no, in no particular order. Um, I just want to pretty much go through a little bit of them. I saw a product junkie video and it inspired me a bit. But anyway, I'll stop talking about that and here we go. So, um, this was a conditioner that I used to co-wash with when I was transitioning and it just felt really good on um, my hair, made it really soft um, and manageable. This is a conditioner that I actually bought once I was natural. It's um, Herbal Essences Hello Hydration. Uh, it's not focusing, but I um, heard really good things about that. And this basically is going to show why you should not rely on other people's judgment. Um, for, for things for your hair basically but um, I used to love this conditioner made my hair really soft but then it left a lot a lot a lot a lot of build up on my hair so I'm pretty much done with that at least for now because I don't like using sulfate shampoos but however because I used this I had to get um, this olive oil shampoo makes my hair really really clean it has sulfates in it but I have to use that when I use this or actually the Cantu leave-in shea butter I'll get to that in a second um, this is silk elements this is a conditioner that I don't really love um, it pretty much just sits on my hair like water it has no slit for my hair and it doesn't leave it soft or conditioned really at all um, this is just a spray bottle I picked up from Target it was a dollar in those little bins um, this is another spray bottle. I have this all sunken in because I use hot water, but um, it has water and olive oil in it right now. Um, this right here, this is the olive oil cream I got from Walgreens, and it also came with this right here. But um, I liked it for a little while. When I do really small twists in my hair, it keeps them really moisturized. But um, other than that, I don't really like it. It leaves my hair dry afterwards. It has parabens in it. Um, it doesn't have petroleum jelly. Um, and it has really good vitamins, but it has parabens, and I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm trying to stay away from all harsh things on my hair. Um, this is an olive oil cholesterol deep conditioning cream, and um, I don't know if you can see. It's probably really bright, and it's not focusing for whatever reason, but um, I don't like it at all. It does nothing for my hair. Um, I've been trying to find a really good deep conditioner, and that's just not the business. Alright, this is my milk, Mixed Silk um, by Silk Elements, Natural Curls for Natural Girls. Um, I don't like this. I tried it once when I first did my big job to define my curls, and I wasn't a huge fan. Um, and then I tried it about a week ago, and I'm still not a huge fan. It smells like glue afterwards, and it dries up white no matter what I use. If I use nothing, if I use oil, if I use anything, it just it just dries white. Um, Alright, this Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning and Repair Cream. It is not what's up for my hair. Um, it leaves a lot, a lot, a lot of residue in my hair, and I found out it's because it has silicones in it, and I didn't know that it left it somewhat moisturized, and I really like the way it smells, but, um, yeah, it just, it left a lot of buildup on my hair, and every time I tried to use that in, or with another product I had white all in my hair and it would not go away so I'd have to rinse it out um, anyway shampoo and I use it sometimes I don't really like to shampoo my hair so there's still a decent portion in here but um it didn't make my hair feel bad or good it was just it cleaned it um but it yeah it didn't it was just uh, so so um, this is my leave-in conditioning cream, and it's by Mix Silk, Silk Elements as well. And it really doesn't make my hair feel like anything in particular, nothing special. Um, so I don't know how I feel about it still, even after having it for months. Um, it's just not what I'm looking for. I guess I want more of like a cream base, and it's it's just not as, it feels like I'm putting conditioner, or um, not conditioner, shampoo in my hair. All right this curl enhancing smoothie by Shea Moisture. I've heard good, I've heard bad, I tried it, I've tried it multiple times and I like it but I like it initially and then it dries my hair out really really bad um, so I just I don't know how to feel about it. Maybe when my hair is longer it'll be nice to do twists. I use it for twists now but I just I don't know I'm not crazy about it. This is my staple African Shea Butter um, for some reason, I, I was using this when I was transitioning, and I loved the way it made my hair feel. And then I wanted to be all product junkie, um, 
like I saw everybody else doing and I strayed away from that but now I'm right back with that and just plain old olive oil because I can't be bothered with all these other things. It keeps my hair really really moisturized um, and really soft. It keeps it just hydrated and I love that about that. Um, I thought I was going to run out of this because I only have a little bit left so I went and bought a new one. Um, I don't know if you can see. But yeah, it's just organic, pure African shea butter. Um, this is my Eco Styler Olive Oil Styling Gel. I really like this when I first did my Big Chop. It defined my curls really well. It still does, but I don't like the hold. It's a 10, and it's just, I'm not a huge fan of that. It's super, super crunchy on my hair, and if I use any of, like, I used to use it with the Cantu Shea Butter, and it would be white, but that's the only way it wouldn't be hard, so I don't know how to feel about that. Um, here are my Shea Moisture, I don't know if you can see it, my Shea Moisture, um, Reconstructive Elixir, and basically it has a bunch of oils in it, it has, let's see, let's see, sea kelp oil, argan oil, Shea Butter, it has a bunch of really nice things for your hair, and it smells really nice, but I don't like the consistency. Um, I got this in a kit when I was transitioning, and, um... I liked it when I was transitioning. The shampoo and conditioner were the business, but yeah, I, um, I've used a decent amount of it. I don't know if you can see, but I just don't like the the texture or the consistency of it, so I use it when I have to. Um, this motions naturally you. Let me tell y'all. I don't know if you know, but I had to write the company. I had to do. Um, I had to. Yeah, basically just write the company, um, and I didn't get a good response at all. It left my hair, it really felt like I did my hair in a deep fryer. Um, there was oil all on top of my head. Um, it just was not a good look at all. And it felt like, um, it felt like I had my fingers in, like, crude oil. It just was not good. The texture of it is really strange. And then while I was doing it, my nail polish was literally stripped off of my fingernails. So I don't know what it has in it. It's supposed to be a natural product, but they should just stick to what they know, and that's relaxing. And I'll leave that alone. Anyway, this is an old container of mine, but I basically mix raw shea butter. Um, I use conditioner and oil, and I just um, whipped it so it's kind of like a whipped um, consistency. And I used to use that for my hair as kind of a leave-in before I got the other leave-ins that I have. Um, this is just coconut oil that I got from the beauty supply store. It's not cold pressed, so it's kind of runny, and I use this for my body as well as my hair. Um, sometimes I, I did it for a couple of weeks, but then I just um, switched to olive oil, and I really, really, really love the olive oil. So that's that. Um, this is Lots of Curls. I work at CBS, and... Um, this was actually on sale for 99 cents so I was like I can't pass up gel for 99 cents the hold is an 8 which I really love and I really really like this it defines my curls really well without the crunchy crunchy hold but at the same time um, it's a little bit thin I don't know how else I can explain that besides um, the Eco Styler gel I feel like it's a thick gooey consistency and this is just more of a watery consistency but um, it's not too bad for 99 cents I can't beat that and then this right here is actually some flaxseed gel that I made um, last night. I have flaxseed that I eat and also that I use to make gel. Um, and this is a really, really, really good um, technique if you want to save money and not buy gels. I put a little bit of olive oil in it so it wouldn't be drying in my hair. And I absolutely love it. I love the texture. The consistency of it is just great. Um, and yeah, I got the flax seeds from the Dollar Tree and they were only a dollar. So I still, I can probably make 20 of these little containers from, um, that $1 bag. So that's just a really, really great, um, buy for me. And I used this actually last night with the curl enhancing smoothie to do a twist out. Um, and then yeah, I have these clips right here staples have to use these clips. I love them in my hair um, They hold really well and I've actually got a bunch of other products um, That just aren't in this video, but this is pretty much just what I bought recently and I'm only What am I? I'm going to be seven months post relaxer and only 
two months natural from when I did my big chop and this is all that I've gotten since then so it's definitely dangerous and this is just to show you that this is what you don't do when you first do your big chop because I just I wanted to follow everybody else and try all of these things and this is my result anyway I hope you guys enjoyed